Yo, what's up guys, Super here. Today is my third quest guide I'm putting out today. It's going to be of the Knight Sword. Um, yeah, so you're going to start off in Falador, in the middle of the castle, talking to the Squire, and he's going to say he wants a sword back for his father or something like that. And yeah, so after you get there, you're going to need to go over to Varrock and talk to Reldos into the Varrock Castle. Now I'm going to talk about what you uh, what you need. So you're going to need two iron bars. Um, here, you're just going to talk to Reldo for a bit. You're going to need two iron bars. You're going to need two red berries. I'll show you where we'll get the red berries later. And uh, you're going to need a pickaxe and some food. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to show you how to make the red berry pie. You can just buy it from other players. I'm going sure to show you how to make it in case you guys want to make it. You need ten cooking to make it. So yeah. Anyways, you see that tree symbol down there right above that is where the red berries are going to be along that southern wall so you're going to get it right there and you just pick two of them make sure you pick two you can maybe hop worlds and pick four in case you accidentally burn the red berry pie the first time you make it but you're going to need that and by the way when you're up in varak make sure to get a pie tin or tin dish or whatever in the cooking of varak or the cooking place of varak castle because you're going to need one to put the pastry dough in you're also gonna need a bucket of water. Remember, just get a bucket. I think you all have one pretty much, and just use a wa use it on like a water spout or something around a sink, and they're all around RuneScape. So yeah. So we're gonna start off where we started our Cook's Assistant quest, and that's gonna be the top of Lumbridge, um, north of Lumbridge Castle. And we're just going to go ahead and pick some wheat, make our way up to the hopper. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you uh, need ten cooking to cook a red berry pie, but ten cooking is really easy to get. All I did was fish and cook what I fished. And it took me like 15, 20 minutes to get 10 cooking. So I highly recommend you get that really easy. Or you can do a quest and get it. Uh, and how I got the two iron bars, I just went on the forums, said I need two iron bars. Somebody PM me in game. Bam, got it done within five minutes. So yeah, you guys can also smith your own iron bars if you want. I think you need 15 smithing to do it or something like that. Uh, but I personally found it easier just to pay 100 GP for the two iron bars. Yeah, so anyways, I just forgot to click the hopper controls here. I went down, I'm like, where the hell is my flower? I'm like, ooh, I did not click the hopper controls, did I? Yeah, so you also need a pot, don't forget that. Um, I actually came here without a pot, and I was like, why can't I put the flower? And then I realized, or why can't I put the flower or anything? And I realized I didn't have a pot, so I just sort of cut the scene and made it look like I have a pot. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did not have a pot. I just ran down to Lumbridge, got them from the general store, and came back up here. They're only like 1 GP, so I was like, you know what? It is one five hundredth of my cash pot right now, but it's worth it. <laughs> so, this quest is highly worth doing just because you're going to get 1 through 29 smithing when you do it. And basically, the early smithing levels are a pain because they can cost money and they can be very long. But if you do this quest, um, it's it's not really a lengthy quest, it's pretty short uh, if you get all the ingredients pretty quickly. And yeah, so what you're going to do is uh, collect your... Oh, I got crashed. There's that bug yesterday where you uh, people could crash you. Anyways, use your bucket of water on your pot of flour. You're going to get a pastry dough. Make sure you make a pastry dough, not like a pizza dough. Use your pastry dough on the tin dish. You're going to make a pastry shell or whatever. And uh, use your red berries on the um, tin dish, tin berry pie, uncooked thingy thing with bobber. Remember, just use it on there. And yeah, you're going to make an uncooked or unfinished red berry pie. Now remember, you cannot use this on a fire, so you have to go down to the range in Lumbridge. I'm going to fix my mic a little bit. There we go. Should be a little better. And uh, use it on the range. Now I burnt it right here the first time. Pretty devastated, but the second time I managed to get it, and I was just like, yes, I'll have to run back up there and get more red berries. So anyways, now you're going to make your way back to, or make your way for the first time to Reld, oh no, sorry, to Thurgo, who is um, very bottom of Port Sarin. Just make your way to Port Sarin by the docks and just go all the way south. He's at that little anvil sign right there. You're going to make your way over there. Once you're there, talk to him. And you're gonna talk. Make sure to offer him the red berry pie first. Who so actually uh, talks to him? So you actually can talk to him. And his eyes light up. He's like, "Oh, it's just like a fat kid loves cake." This guy loves red berry pie. So you give him the pie. Talk to him. And you're asking him to make a special sword. He's gonna be like, "I need a picture of it." So you're gonna make your way up to Falador. I'm just gonna sprint my way up to Falador here. I wish this was game speed, but unfortunately it's not. Um, and you. Pretty much fucked if you have one agility. I only have one agility here, and this took forever. You're not fucked, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is like it's just gonna take you a while to walk to these places, and that's the case with any quest, pretty much. Especially the, the most annoying thing is when you um, actually try to go to a place, and you know the the entrances are different than in the, you know 2013 Runescape than they were in 2007. So you know you go to an entrance that you think's there, but it's actually blocked off, and you're like, oh, I have to redo this whole thing, or I have to go all the way around. So that's what I did with the Falador. See, I went to the other side. I was like, wait, I thought there was an entrance here. 
but there was actually like an agility shortcut but I'm like I'm one agility so I couldn't do it anyways you're gonna talk to the squire here and you're gonna be like oh, I need a picture of your of your father or whatever and uh, he's gonna say it's upstairs but Sir Vivil or whatever his name is cannot uh, catch you taking the portrait from his or from the cupboard and there's a trick to getting past that I will show you how to do it first thing I'm gonna do is go into this room right here now I didn't I didn't actually know there was a door going into this room I was like wait how do you get into this room and then I realized there's a door and I was like no nope. FML man but anyways yes yeah, so you're gonna go in that door wait for it to go up the speediness of the RS characters I really should do agility but I will probably do a quest guide on that on the tree gnome village quest soon so look out for that i have one or two more quest guides coming out tonight so look out for those one's gonna be on dork's quest i'm pretty sure and another one's gonna be on a surprise anyways go up the stairs go into this room to the right there's gonna be sir vivil or vinyl or whatever and uh here's the trick you can either get one of your friends to come with you and talk to him and distract him while you search the cupboard but this is what happens when you search it and he's looking see this guy's not actually talk to him he's just standing and looking at him make sure you have a friend with you to talk to him or you can get out of the sir the sir's way. I'm just gonna say sir, the sir. There we go, Vivin, Sir Vivin's way, and wait for him to go behind the door. Wait for him to walk out of the room, or make wait for him to look away from you um, when you're looking or about to search the cupboard. See right here, he's behind the door. I quickly look. He wasn't looking, and I got out of there. Luckily, it was just in time. And yeah, make your way back down. You're gonna make your way all the way back to Thurgo. So just take the entrance back and talk to him, and you're gonna say, "Here's the portrait." So he studies it, and all you need to do is get some more ingredients for him. What you need here is your pickaxe, and you're going to need um, some food. Basically, what you do is be mining blurite or down in the cave-like thing at the exclamation mark on the map. You're gonna run your way over the run your way over to the exclamation mark. Sorry about that. It's just right next to uh, Thurgo. It's just on a little hill, and you're gonna get in here. Make sure you have some food with you. Run up here. There's gonna be uh, bandits and muggers and pirates and stuff so you make your way past them make sure you have your run up um, I'm sure most of you guys who are watching this and want to do it are pretty pretty low levels meaning like 3 to like 25 so yeah sorry just burped um you can just sprint your way through here they're not gonna hit you that hard and you're gonna see these take the first entrance or to the right the first one that goes to the right and make your way in there and you're gonna see all this ice stuff and you're gonna see the ice warriors in there you have to stay away from those they can hit you pretty hard and here's the trick I did not learn the trick until I was getting hit a lot so there's the there's the blur right you're gonna see the mining symbol I try to mine it really quick but unfortunately I went too far and this one noticed me so I was running away this guy kept hitting me I didn't play that music was like but unfortunately this little rock behind here is where you can hide now eventually he's not going to see you anymore like that he just runs away and you have to quickly when he's looking away go ahead and mine the blurite now remember you need to have 11 mining to mine the blurite so once you have it run away and uh, it, I'm, I think I was 11 mining with the bronze pickaxe and it took me like 5 seconds to mine the blurite so you're not going to be there for a while anyways make sure you guys look at the quest requirements before too just in case I forget to say them in the beginning because I probably would do that but that's one thing you guys need to do. Um, but I will probably try to say them every single time. Anyways, once you have the Blurite and your two iron ores, make your way to Thurgo again. Ask him to make the uh, sword, which you will rate. Wait for it. I was talking to someone, sorry. There we go. Talk to Thurgo. I wonder who's going to get that skill cave first. <laughs> Um, so he's gonna be like about that sword, and you're gonna say, "Do you have my ingredients and or materials?" And I'm gonna say yes. He's gonna get to work making them. Bam! There you go. There is the Blurite sword. And you can also, what you can do is make a. You can get another Blurite ore and two more iron ore. He can make you a sword yourself, and you can have your own iron sword or Blurite sword. Anyways, make your way back to the squire. Quest complete. After you talk to him, one to twenty-nine smithing. Bank was made. Not really. Levels were made. That's about it, guys. Have a good one. Peace.